how sustainable and affordable are public sector rents for the Department of Infrastructure on the Isle of Man? Well, uh, um, currently um, we are looking at a, if you like, a support or a subsidy of about five million pounds, and we have to. That's the difference between income and uh, and um, uh, from rents and also what what is spent. So we have to make sure that we we manage that properly, and that 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 is correct going forward. But also, what's been increasing. Um, uh, sort of factor this year as local authorities have said to us that they have found that, that, that their if you like their budgets for maintenance and improving properties has been squeezed and uh, so we're reflecting that in the increase and I think that's really important because at the end of the day if we don't um, maintain our properties if we don't have the funds to do that then in the long term it's going to cost more and if there's one mantra that I sort of continually sort of pursued is, is the one of maintenance. So if this doesn't, if this wasn't to come in, it would be unaffordable and unsustainable. Would well, it? in the sense that unsustainable, because our costs would rise, and uh, you know there would have to be cuts elsewhere. Also, maintenance wouldn't be done, and it would end up costing more. Um, so, um, and that's as I say, very much reflected in 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 what the local authorities have been saying to us. They've ranged from some have said no increase, some have said six percent, but but actually, if you look at the whole range, it's it's about right. And, but all of them, even the ones that zero uh, percent, have all said we need more money to maintain our properties. So that's why, if you like, the three point one is is in in two parts: the two percent to, for increased costs, but the one point one percent is going back to housing associations, authorities, and so forth to support their maintenance. Maintenance fund. Um, so, did you you say that some of them have said no no increase? Others have said a rather high increase. I mean, yeah. so all of the local authorities aren't necessarily in support of this, are they? Well, uh, they're, they're actually, the range is quite small. We've had larger ranges in previous years. And obviously, there are always uh, different local factors uh, that have to be taken into consideration. When you take the, also a number of said 3%, a number of said inflation, we're actually um, with the majority, I would say. Um, and you're never going to get a figure that's perfect for everyone. That's one of the reasons why we're actually looking to to do more sort of a five-year plan with our rent increases and to plan ahead rather than through this sort of annual exercise. So that's something that we are looking and hoping that we, we can bring forward in the future. And this £5 million, pounds, the, the difference, I mean, that's quite a substantial sum of money, isn't it? It is, and, and I think, but that is right, because this is social housing, and this is for people who need that, and who need that housing, and we, we need to support support people across, uh, our, our people across the island, uh, and we should always expect that there will be a, uh, a if you like, a, a subsidy, but what we can't do is allow that to become unsustainable, and that's why we have to manage that, and manage that pr- appropriately, and look at our affordability is also important and looking across uh, to other jurisdictions we, we're quite quite low in in terms of our our, our rents uh, here and that's right and that's what we want to maintain but it is it, maintaining that balance um, now ring fe- ring fencing money to refurbish or maintain properties I mean should that be done through rents or should it perhaps be found um, in funding elsewhere well in actual fact, um, local authorities already have a mechanism where they can uh, keep hold of some of their rent, rent uh, for maintenance. Um, if if, if um, they they need that, because obviously the properties you have people who move and and there are voids or empty houses that need refurbishing and so forth, that has has dropped over the years. We've we've we recognise that drop. Um, we are looking to more sort of sustainable um, ways that we can we can work that figure out in the future. But we we have. Uh, we agree, and we've, that's why we've actually said 1.1% of that increase is is to increase the maintenance allowances uh, for for housing associations and local authorities and so forth.